Yes, it's me, Mark. I'm ready here again today. Well, listen, I'm going south down to Trinidad and Tobago. And I know some people can tell me, Mark, eh? Mark, eh? Why well, you don't take Patrice for advice and drink water and mind your business? Don't get in that people's business. Well, I don't really worry about that because I have callings. I have rights in Trinidad and Tobago. Could dear, huh? If you spend as much time as I did in Trinidad and Tobago and got family down there and thing, huh? You got a right like anybody else to talk about it after all we see Caribbean, we only separated by water, huh? So I could drink water, mind my business, and I could pretend that certain things are happening. And I ain't gonna be like some bedroom friends of mine, one bedroom friend of mine. <laughs> well, honestly, he didn't turn out and he get a taxi and he tell the man he won't go to San Juan. And the man carry he up by Piarco Airport, he asked me what we put the Caribbean up there for. He said, well, tell me, you want to go to San Juan? Huh? So San Juan, you're going to catch the airplane? He said, no, 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 the place down the, on the, off of the Western Main Road. <laughs> he said, oh, you want to go San Juan? <laughs> As he said, man, who wanted to get some Shadow Benny, you understand? But he, he asked him for Shadon Bene. <laughs> Trying to know what he talking about, boy, let me tell but seriously, though, what really going on in Trinidad and Tobago with the crime situation? It looked like since Gary Griffith gave up, well, since it was not re, he was not reappointed as commissioner of police, I'll be going to talk about here in the new party at some point, huh? But it seemed to me that since Gary Griffith left out the place, Trinidad like it just gone like the wild, wild west. And when you see some of the murders that taking place, I got to ask my Trinity friends, look, when they really want me to come down there, is it safe for me to come down? Eh? Because I get a little worried. And some of the murders been brutal, brutal, brutal. Oh, my goodness. And it ain't one. Sometimes it is in couples. Sometimes cutlass involved and chop up and chop up. Oh, my goodness gracious. It is real brutal. Multiple murders. What really is going on in Trinidad and Tobago? Why would you take two Chinese Trinidadian men, eh? Men who just mind their own business, run a little business and thing, tied up and thing, and, and murder the men. What it is, what it is, what really going on in the country, eh? And so for the commissioner of police to, you know, issue platitudes about, you know, they're going to let, leave no stern and stone unturned, even a policeman get killed recently? Huh? No, no, no. Trinidad and Tobago is too lovely a place for y'all to allow this to continue to happen in the country. And it ain't happening now. But I thought y'all did wrestling it to the ground. But no, let me tell you, that won't seem to be the case. We're looking at it from the outside. And you got to wonder what is really going on in Trinidad and Tobago. We're going to talk about Spain another day. Oh, lost. Well, <laughs> That one is a hot potato politically. So you see me, market. On that one, I can drink some water and mind my business. Market vendor gone for now. But you have a blessed and a wonderful day. You hear? And listen. Yeah. Make sure when you go to Trinidad, yeah. if you're going to San Juan, you cannot tell the man you're going to San Juan. Because he carry you straight to Piarco International Airport. Market gone for now. You have a blessed and a wonderful day. You hear? Yeah. <laughs>